Hello all and welcome to a new episode of EU to You. This week, as every single week, we are looking at a different Central and Eastern European country and exploring some of its social, cultural and historical peculiarities. This week we are looking at Czech Republic. Czech Republic lies perfectly at the geographic heart of the European Union. It borders Germany, Poland, Slovakia and Austria and it's a country of about 11 million people. So let's find out what Czech Republic is all about. What is Czech Republic known for? Czech Republic is famous for its dramatic scenery. Mountains, valleys, small idyllic villages, medieval towns and castles. You name it, Czech Republic has it. It is no surprise that many international blockbusters films have been shot and filmed in the Czech Republic. And this country is home to many inventions that affect the daily lives of people every single day throughout the world. For example, in the 1820s, it was Czech scholars who first found out that we all have individual fingerprints and later they learned how to produce contact lenses. Also, apparently the sugar cube, you know those white sugar cubes that you put in your tea or coffee to sweeten it? That was apparently also a Czech Republic invention. Even the word robot has Czech origins. It first appeared in a play written by Karel Capek. And of course, Czech lands were home for famous people like Sigmund Freund and Franz Kafka. So what are Czechs proud of? Well, the country and its capital are the center of Europe. Prague was the capital of Rudolf II, which made the city Europe's cultural, economic and political center. Prague was the capital of Rudolf II's empire in the 17th century, and he made Prague the center of Europe economically, culturally and politically. And actually, there's a funny story related to a well-known European scientist of this period. Danish astronomer Duco Brahe used to live at the court of Rudolf and the court of Rudolf was known for eccentric feasts. And at one of these dinner parties, they were drinking lots of wine and eating lots of food and Tuko Brahe really felt like he needed to go to the bathroom, but he did not dare to leave the table before the emperor himself would leave. So he died because of a bladder rupture, or so the story says. Nevertheless, it must have been a good party. <laughs> <laughs> but let's look at some of the questions that people often ask about this fascinating Central and Eastern European country. Hmm. So why is Czech Republic called the Czech Republic? Indeed, why does this country have a bit of a strange name? The predecessor of the Czech Republic, the Czechoslovakia, was formed after the First World War when the Austro-Hungarian Empire collapsed. In Czechoslovakia, the Czechs and Slovaks lived in the same country, and after the Second World War, the country fell under Soviet influence. And then, after the collapse of the Soviet Union, the two nations decided to set themselves apart and Czech Republic became independent on the 1st of January 1993. And since then, it has been called Czech Republic. There have been many attempts to change the name of the country to a shorter version, Czechia. For example, in 2016, the government moved to uh, propose that Czechia should be a short alternative to the Czech Republic. But then, according to media and studies, people still tend to identify more with the name Czech Republic. Why not? I think Czech Republic actually sounds quite cool and nice. Let's do one more question. Hmm. Why do Czech names end in OVA? Yes, that is interesting. And I guess this is a recurrent question throughout the different countries in Central and Eastern Europe where Slavic languages are spoken. The Czech language indeed belongs to the Slavic language group. It's a bit like French, Italian and Spanish that are all a bit similar to each other. So are Czech, Slovak and Polish. So in many Slavic languages, the daughter's surname takes the feminized form of the father's surname. So in the Czech Republic, many surnames end up ending in Ova. That's it. But that's also all we have today. It has been fascinating to learn more about Czech Republic with you guys. I hope you learned a bit. I learned a lot. And stay tuned for more episodes on Central and Eastern European countries. We can't wait to bring more EU to you. Thank you. Bye bye.